Hello, welcome to Learn Knitting Now. I'm Callista, and today I'm going to share a little bit about the class that I've been working on. It is for socks. I It's probably been the most recent clothing item that I've learned to knit, but I have knit a lot of socks because they are very addicting. Um, how do I like to do socks? There's a few different ways you can do from the cuff of the sock down. You can do from the toe up. There's a lot of different kinds of heels, uh, but for this class, we're gonna do kind of simple. We're gonna do a cuff down sock, a top down sock with a heel flap and gusset. Um, that is pretty standard way to do socks. What is going to be a little bit different is we're not going to be following a pattern exactly. I am very much a person that likes to have kind of a recipe situation and I read several different patterns and then decide what I'm going to do. <laughs> so, um, but what we, what that allows us to do is number one, make a sock that's going to fit you because we're working off your measurements or the measurements of someone else. If you're knitting socks for them, you will need uh, measurements for their feet and we're going to go through all of that in detail um, and then you can also use whatever weight and needle size you want that's appropriate for the weight so I'm going to have a separate video to go over that kind of a pairing for if for what kind of yarn you have what kind of needle you should probably look at so we will be knitting a gauge swatch I know that that is not always everyone's favorite thing to do it's not always my favorite thing to do but uh, it is going to make a sock that fits you when we're done. We are going to be loosely following a pattern called socks by the number. And that is how we're going to have the general idea and also um, guest appearance by Oakley. <laughs> um, socks by the number. Uh, it is written for double pointed needles. I'm going to be doing it in magic loop. And if you, you don't have to have a copy of the pattern, it's a free pattern. I will, I will link it. Um, absolutely can, can go, would love to have you go look at that. Um, but we're, we're going to be following the concepts and not necessarily exactly the directions. So I wanted to show you really quick here. This is sock yarn by Beach Bum Yarn. Um, I made this an ankle sock. You're going to be able to choose how long you want to do your leg. Um, but it starts at the cuff. So we're going to have ribbing up here. And then we're going to have a bit of a length here of just knitting in the round for, for the leg. This is where you would make it longer if you wanted more of a uh, kind of calf length sock right here. So then after we knit this part, we're going to be knitting back and forth just on this heel and these stitches over here are just going to hang out on the needle and we're not going to work them we're going to go back and forth back and forth along these till we um, get to the bottom here and then we're going to work some short rows for a lot of you that will be a new skill short rows and the short rows is what makes this curve because we have a curve in our heel and then we're going to Pick up and knit. That'll also be another new skill for, for many of us. Pick up and knit stitches along here. And then you can see we start, we're knitting in the round again at this point. And if you see this little, you can see this right here is where the stitches are changing direction. Those are decreases. So then we're gonna decrease until we get back to the number of stitches we have here, because as we pick these up, we increase the number of stitches on our needle. And I'm going to show you every single step of this. If you're watching this thinking, oh, that's really, really complicated. We're going to have different videos for each one of these, these portions. But I'm just wanting to give you a general idea of how the sock is knit. So um, we have all these decreases here. And then we're knitting even. And I'll show you, tell you what these guys are for. These little hanging down things. They will come off. I'm knitting the second sock right now. So that's why I have these on here. <clears throat> We're gonna knit even until we get down to the toe. And then um, we're going to be grafting stitches or doing Kitchener stitch, which will be a, a new skill for most, for most of us also. So we have a number of new skills we're going to learn here. And, um, and it's gonna be a, a whole, whole lot of fun. 
Um, I Socks are one of the things that I said, I'm never going to do socks. They're too complicated. And it really is a matter of taking it one step at a time, one row at a time, and kind of submitting to the process a little bit. Uh, one thing, if you're looking for yarn with a heel flap and gusset type of, of sock, uh, you may want to steer clear of striped yarns like this one is if you don't like how it's different right here. You see how my, it, it like kind of pulled together certain colors. If that's going to bother you, I would recommend either a solid color yarn or a kind of a tonal where it just, it's basically one color with just like light and dark of the same color a little bit. Um, so that you will avoid this. Some people care deeply, some people don't care at all, but I, I, if, that, if that's you that it matters to you, then I would recommend not doing a striped yarn for that. So I'm um, looking forward to having you over with this class. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be so much fun. We're gonna have socks at the end of it, and I can't think of a better way to spend a few days knitting a pair of socks.